Hi dolls, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my New Year's Eve inspired glam makeup tutorial. Um, I really try to keep it as simple as possible, but you know what, we gotta keep it a little bit glam as well. So I am actually going to be using mainly these shadows. Those are all Ofra single shadows and I'm using Makeup Geeks Coco Bear as well. The first shadow that we're gonna start with is Bohemian. It's an Ofra shadow and I'm gonna use this as usual, you know, as a transition shade. Helps us as usual just to get all the other shadows blending in as seemingly and easy as possible. Next I'm taking Coco Bear by Makeup Geek and I'm just basically intensifying wherever I put the, um, the transition shade. I like doing this just because I really like, uh, like a transition from the darkest to the lightest color. I personally am really into that dark deep brown red if you know what I'm trying to say so that's what I'm doing here um, yeah you just want to keep putting layers on there I honestly went in with a empty brush just a clean brush and just tried to blend it up but you know what you don't have to worry too much because we're gonna keep blending and keep blending all through the tutorial so don't stress yourself you're gonna be having a lot of time to blend when you are too happy about your new camera. Um, next I'm going in with this color and this color is called Smoke. It's also by the Ofra um, Cosmetics Company. And I just love the shadow. If you take a look at it, I already done had my foundation and everything done, like powder, everything was set and there was absolutely zero fallout, which if you have a little bit of knowledge about makeup, when it comes to dark shadows, normally you wanna do your eyes first, which is the main reason why I actually decided using those shadows. Yeah, I was absolutely impressed. Next, I'm going in with this color right here. It's called Iron. And um, I just use this basically because if you can tell, I use the other shade just only on the main moving lid. So I'm just trying to make this a little bit less harsh, you know, the dark to the lighter color. So I'm just applying this between the lid and the crease. You just want to keep adding a little bit more. It is a matte um, color simply because I have hooded eyes. I don't really like going in with shimmery colors in my eyes because it just emphasizes, you know, every little imperfections I have going on on my eyelid. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing here. Blending, adding color, blending, adding color. Yeah, obviously I was feeling something here. I don't know what was going on. I was just way too happy for the world. Here, just keep adding the transition shade, the first color, Bohemian and Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear. And I just keep adding that because I felt like it was kind of lost in the process, just to make it yeah, stand out a little bit more. Here, I have Buttercup. And what I'm doing here is I just apply that under the eyebrows, just to highlight my eyebrows a little bit. It is a matte vanilla shade. So it's not nothing crazy, but it just really helps to bring the look out a little bit more. And surprisingly, it actually did help me blend out the harsh edges of the darker shadow. So I was really happy about that. Millennium Gold by Ofra as well. No, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just really, really genuinely impressed by all the eyeshadows that they brought out. And I only apply this on the center of the eye just because in case it hits some light, it just can pop a little bit more, like the pop, the pop, you know? And also use this as an inner corner highlight and do like right under the eyebrow bone, I wanted to, uh, eyebrow, eyebrow bone, I don't even know if we have a bone there. Anyways, but I just wanted to highlight that as well. For lashes, you knew your girl had to get some lashes. I'm using the Kiss Lashes in the number 03. They are really pretty lashes. They're a little bit more thick too. I do like to bend the band a little bit because the band is pretty thick and a little bit stiff. Now, I did not speed up this um, section too much because I wanted to tell you guys or explain a little bit something to you guys. With this lash, you have to make sure that the inner and the outer corners are like solid to your eyes if you don't do that it will come off and they will um, like really frustrate you but once you have them popped on and they are like solid on they look beautiful and they're not going anywhere you can they are comfortable to where you basically not gonna feel that there are any lashes so yeah at the bottom line I just went in with transition shade Coco Bear and also the iron which is the lighter gray shade and just you know you know just try to smoke out the lower lash line a little bit I didn't want to do too much just because my eyes are so watery, so I always try to stay away from the waterline. 
here I'm going in with Hot Drop Eye Makeup Geek. This is the blush that I used. It is really light. And I thought that since the eyes were kind of heavy, you know, the cheeks could be a little bit more girly and a little bit more flirty. So that's what I used. As a highlight, I went in with the Sleek Highlight Souls Tees palette anyways. And I used the blue purpley shade. As you guys can tell, gorgeous, gorgeous. Bam. I'm using my Real Techniques uh, complexion sponge, which is damp, of course, obviously. You know, we all know that by now. And just blending in that highlight a little bit to make it look less powdery and a little bit more, I don't know, just cute. This is Discreet by Estee Lauder. It's a lipstick. I did not use any lip liner just because it worked for the look that I was going for. And here I'm topping it off with Reckless Bloom, which is a lip gloss also by Estee Lauder. And I honestly fell in love with the lip combo. I think it just fits perfectly. It basically fits every day. It's just gorgeous. It's like a light brownish, nudish, shimmery type of gloss look. So I'm absolutely obsessed. So that was it for this tutorial, loves. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, you already know, please give them your thumbs up. Come on, it doesn't cost you anything. Subscribe to my channel if you're looking forward to any future videos. And of course, I'm gonna see you guys soon. Bye, love. Stay beautiful inside and out.